Yeah, I mean, um, obviously you can't really give much credit to yourself to find, besides find an open spot, but they put it in an area I was able to finish it, and the rest is history. Like y'all had some good kind of post-to-post -post connections too. I mean, like where you had the guy in the middle and lobbed in. Is that something y'all worked specifically against them, or was it just something that worked tonight? Um, I think both. That specifically worked against them, and just the way their defense was, and uh, coaching going into the game, saying, "Hey, if we run kind of this play, we're going to get this spot open." And so, good connection. I was able to toss it up there to Josh, and he was able to finish it. Blanks today, have you really settled into this role of kind of coming off the bench and bringing a spark and, and you know everything that you bring to the court? You know, yeah. First, I'm just blessed to be out here. You know. Like all the injuries that I've had, you know, just to be out here with my guys again, working with them, and then, you know, I, this year I was just ready to do whatever the coaches asked, you know, because I'm I'm not out there playing for myself. Whatever the team needs is is what I'm willing to do, you know, and I'm gonna give it my all. But in in, in retrospect, yeah, I have settled into this role, and and I like how our team's rolling, so it's all good. Let me say, I'll say something about that too. I think yeah. Lance is a warrior because. There's a lot of people who I think would be in Langston's position after going through what he's gone through uh, just the last few years with the little injuries and things going on. And then coming into this year, maybe thinking, oh, I'm, I'm going to start, I'm going to do play more or whatever it may be. I think Langston's gone about it with such a good attitude. And that just shows the chemistry that we have. And I think that's going to take us a long way. For sure. Langston, you had like three three-pointers in a row there. Was the last one kind of a heat check? I mean, you were, you were pretty far out, but you... Were you just feeling it during that stretch? Yeah, I was feeling it. You know, we play with such great players that we're just so unselfish that they just found me in the right spots and on consecutive possessions. And, you know, I just shot it and left the rest up to history. When you, when you get in a run like that, do you feel like, does it surprise you when you miss? Uh, you, it, yeah, I never shoot a shot thinking I'm going to miss. <laughs> Every shot I take, I think it's going in, especially with the, the confidence that my teammates give me and just that we give each other and that the coaching staff has in us. Why, why would I not think it's going to go in? Hey, Langston's one of many guys that can shoot on this team. I mean, what's it like to just have so many guys around the perimeter and like, connect? It's awesome because, I mean, you get the ball in the middle, you get the ball on the baseline, you have a cut. The second you see a defender or two, you can just kick it out and somebody's going to shoot it. So it's nice playing with that, too. It also just spaces the floor. And uh, we just have such an unselfish team that having that many shooters works. And it's just fun to, fun to be on the floor with that many guys that can shoot the ball like that. Meanwhile, they were kind of a team that did a lot of ISOs or a lot of you know one-on-one -on -one type stuff. Um, when you're defending that, what's the mindset? Because, I mean, you know, a lot of times you're one-on-one -on -one with a guy that's you know, going to the hoop. Uh, you know, we just got a saying, just chest up. Every practice we say chest, we yell out chest, and that's just our that's just our mindset. Just keep the guy in front, um, do your job, and just not have to have make your teammates rotate for you. You know, that's that's basically our biggest thing is just trying to guard head on. Knowing personnel too, and a team like that, because they had a few guys who didn't really shoot, and then they had a few guys who all they did was shoot. Mm -hmm. So just. Knowing which guy has which tendencies helps on the defensive end. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> seven and zero, uh, and uh, uh, so blessed to coach this team. Uh, uh, how they celebrate each other. Um, I, I've said it before, but our biggest strength can be our biggest weakness, and and our depth is. Uh, allows people to not have off nights and other guys there pick them up. And uh, tonight, again, you saw just the depth. And Nichols is a team coming in. Um, they beat LSU. Their biggest loss was 13 points at top 25 Mississippi State. So they're not used to losing big. And I thought our guys really did a great job, in, uh, uh, especially defensively in the first half, and then uh, um, taking care of the basketball like that for the game. Um, finishing with 25 assists, nine turnovers was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. You've had some good passing teams. Where does this one kind of stack? Right? Well, I think I think part of it too is uh, the finishing ability, 
And uh, uh, you look at it, and, I mean, Eve's around 13. I mean, it's 12-7 to be exact. But, I mean, you got a margin error, Caleb Loner margin error, Josh. I mean, you got a lot of guys that – that uh, uh, are great alley-oop catchers, and then it allows uh, 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 the passers um, to, to look good as well. So a team effort, um, again, it, it, the, these kind of games uh, uh, are, are – they can be nerve-wracking because uh, uh, if it's an LSU or Mississippi State close game, uh, there's four points and five minutes to go in the first half at Mississippi State. and. Uh, I mean, Gardner-Webb, we played one of these games like that before. So just really impressed with how the team came out, and uh, especially coming off a, a long weekend, and and you could have been tired. I'm, I'm sorry, the step box I got is from the first half, so. <laughs> My memory, I was trying to – but all 12 scored. That's what I was – so that that's pretty good. Scott, obviously, uh, Langston has been great off the bench all year. But this is a – I guess when he's playing like that, it would be a big win. Yeah, um, uh, I know Langston came into the game, and um, we always say you get rewarded if you play the right way. And he actually came in and passed up a couple shots to get better shots. And you love it as a coach when guys play the right way and then get rewarded for it. And then what was really good is when he got going, our players looked uh, to him and and did a great job of that. Yeah, um, and and that's where again you look at last game against Florida. You had Jacoby and Eve in foul trouble, and you had other guys step up. So uh, that's you got to have that over the course of the season, especially uh, foul trouble, illness, uh, injury. Um, but I mean, uh, one guy can. We know we all hear the saying like one bad apple can spoil the bunch, and like we don't have negative. No, we don't have those energy vampires. We got a bunch of givers, guys that are excited for each other, and that that's that's really fun. And I know coaching. A lot of times we just look at the final score, the X and O's, but really it's like it's like parenting because um, normally when you're Christmas time or holidays, there's one 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 child upset, and that means you're upset because you're only as happy as your unhappiest child. So I mean uh, that's why we're so blessed. God's given us a great group of guys to work with, and hopefully we can keep getting better X and O's wise. But it's fun how they they uh, uh, support one another. Nick Oldman came in and looked like they did a lot of ISO and had guys that you know, could step back and all kinds of things. Uh, what was kind of yeah. the defensive game plan? Yeah, great, great question. The, the the tough thing is, and why there was such a matchup problem for like Mississippi State and LSU is really their their leading assist guy is, leads them in points, offensive rebounds, free throw attempts, blocks, and everything. So it's it's like playing Jalen Bridges at the five, and he's your point guard. So it throws all the matchups off, and then they have four guards out there. So um, you say, well, you got the height, but. We all know speed kills, so um, it's it's you got to do a good job with uh, 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 15. Uh, West was his name, and not let him score a ton, but also get a bunch of assists to open guys. And I thought uh, the ability of our guys to guard as a team, but then one on one to guard like West, and then made it now more ISO situations for the other guys. And until the second half. Um, uh, we were really, I think, uh, really good for the first 17 minutes, and then, then, then we weren't as good. Is that not how they normally play? I mean, no, that's how they. Yeah, play yeah, 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 yeah. So, well, what they normally do is go through 15, and he'll back you down. Someone will come double. They'll kick out to an open shooter. So, if you can't stop him one on one, you're doubling, and then that means he's kicking up, and then that's how they get a bunch of threes. Yeah, we would order that double double every night. Uh, Fourteen, ten, and six, and then five rebounds was outstanding as as well. And uh, again, I mean, you look at Langston's line: twenty three points on eight shots is is really impressive. Um, but uh, the the assist to turnover ratio: if we get if we get good shot good shots, we're gonna shoot fourteen for twenty three. Not every night, but more nights than not. If you do a good job getting shot quality, and this group's doing a good job uh, 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 in the last couple games, especially looking for each other and starting to have a feel for each other. Caleb going to coach Eve and Alley 
<laughs> I don't know. He's motivated. He's, uh, again, Caleb's uh, uh, one of the best dunkers around. So uh, he, he, might, he might be starting to shoot some more threes now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that, that, that that how they guarded. They they had their big come up anything in the middle, so that vacated the rim. And some people do that, um, guard the high post that way. Mm -hmm. That help. Well, that and the fact that they can go up and catch stuff too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. Appreciate it. You guys have a great night.